What's up everybody? So this is the uh, CNC um, Design Limited 2000, I'm sorry, 200 millimeter coil winder video. This is the uh, basically putting this sucker together. So I received the kit. I do have everything in here except I can't find this particular capacitor. So I'm going to make sure that I'm not mistaken or maybe I lost it. Um, that's okay, I probably have some of those somewhere. So these are basically all the parts and uh, this is my tripod but um, all the electronics are in here and I'm going to be um, assembling this today. Blank circuit board to start with. A few other um, more delicate components in there. Some resistors and such in here. Um, oh look, there's already one populated. So um, anyway, so this is what this is what I'm currently putting together right here, and uh, so I'm actually um, behind the scenes here. Don't let anybody know I'm behind the scenes, and I just wanted to give you a, a, a kind of a quick quick uh, overview of kind of like you know all the the stuff here. This is step one: assembling. Uh, yeah, I'm going through this fast. Assembling the circuit board. Because this is like the back end here, so I don't know if I'm supposed to be showing you this, but I don't think it matters. Uh, and then it goes through all these steps, step by step by step by step by step. I mean, a huge amount of, of information here. And then the third step is, is the wiring assembly. And then uh, then you're good to go. So I just, I kind of wanted to show you that, that brief overview, uh, just so you guys kind of get a feel of what they've put together for the, the, con the consumers here. And uh, they've done a good job. Uh, this is the software. I'm not going to go into this right now anyway, um, but uh, there's there's a bunch of tabs here and stuff that you can uh, you can you can do all sorts of fun stuff. So very uh, excited to use this thing, but currently I'm going to be putting this together. So this video is literally literally going to be time lapse. Normal hardware. Um, if you didn't see the last video of me unboxing this, I go through each component a little bit more in detail. So if you'd like to watch that, uh, I'll put a link in the description slide reel. Alright, well let's get started. This whole video is going to be time lapse, like I said, so just sit back and enjoy. I'll probably slap some music on here, maybe. Um, and let's get started. I'm excited. Woohoo! Alright everybody, so currently have the circuit board all put together. Um, I did not find that one 2.2 microfarad capacitor, so I'm going to have to find one. I've probably got one laying around. Just got to dig it up. But, uh, yeah. My soldering jobs aren't too bad, I don't think. I think I do a fairly good job. I didn't solder those up. Those are those pre-made boards. The only real problem that I had was getting uh, these in the slots and the uh, standoffs, the DIN rails. Uh, they, I put them in square, but you can see they're slightly angled, so they're just a fraction off, but that's not really a big deal. Um, the only other thing, I originally put these two LEDs that they sent me, uh, I put them in here and uh, 
soldered them in and then realized that they're supposed to be standing off. That way when you uh, that way when you put the box on and you put the lid on like this, they actually they stand out of the box. So I I happen to have some LEDs and I pop some new ones on there. I didn't read instructions well enough. So you've got the connectors on the side here. USB for the uh, interface with the uh, software, uh, the power jack, I believe, and uh, the remote control. I gotta look at what some of these are even for. Nope, that's the power jack. So I'm not 100% sure what that one is yet. I'll figure it out. Let's see what it says. Oh, it doesn't say. Maybe it's on the top. Okay, auxiliary. That's what it is. DC and USB and speed control hand or hand speed control. So I'll find that other capacitor and solder it on there, and uh, then we'll start the mechanical assembly. All right. guys as it states right there all finished it's all finished I'm done well with mechanical assembly ball screw slide tailstock adjuster the only thing I got to do here really quickly I guess is add the chucks I didn't do that yet but uh, they just screw on so we'll do that okay now it's officially all assembled Trying to, uh, I, I checked some alignment here, and it <clears throat> looks as if uh, you can see there's a gap on one side than the other. So I'm gonna loosen this bracket. This must be turned a little because this slot's a little sloppy. Now if I have to, I'll readjust this. I'll get these all lined up a little better. But the slides and then clamps down. Put your shaft in here and your bobbin or whatever. In my case, it will be this little jobby. And uh, winding, winding we go. So now we'll move to the wiring. Still got some work to do. Oh, now I'm getting close. Wired up. Lid is on. Wires are connected. Come out over here. Show you the bottom. Earlier I thought there was uh, some screws that were too long, which were the, the ones that you see right there. And uh, come to find out there is a reason for it, and it's because these wire looms holders get connected on there. So the wires just go over to the motors, and that's the only wires on this whole thing is just the motors. We'll find out how they don't crash, because I really don't know. So we'll <laughs> find out how this thing actually functions. It's probably a set somewhere, and find some more instructions. Um, so, the only thing I had to complain about thus far really is just one thing. And the only thing is, it didn't come with the most important part finishing the wire management. 
zip ties. I recommend you guys include some zip ties. Um, I put one about every, uh, I don't know, two inches on my unit here, uh, all the way across the bottom as well. I put zip ties on each one of those points. And I find it in very important. Wire management is one of the most important things, and so you did a good job for routing, but man, that's the only thing I recommend. Pitch in a couple of, you know, 50 cents worth of zip ties. It'll make a better wiring management. Anyway, really that's it. And it's just because I'm anal about my wire management. <laughs> so um, next up, I'm gonna put this little controller together. Um, I may even just do that last. I'm not really in a hurry to um, put this part together. I do have one extra. Might find a good place for that on the bottom. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Um, that took me roughly, let's see, hmm, four and a half. I, actually, I didn't even start. To, so let's say four to four and a half hours to complete. Um, it was nice that this particular unit, this whole assembly was together right here, and this whole assembly was together. That would have taken me another uh, 20, 30, 40 minutes, maybe even longer because of all the small pieces in here. Um, don't forget to tighten up your Lovejoy couplings. Um, and we're going to plug it in. We're going to try it out. We're going to see how it works. But uh, it's almost lunchtime, so I'm heading to do that first. I'll finish this before lunch. Let's do that right now. Okay, well there you go. I didn't put the top two little screws in just yet, but it uh, wasn't so bad. Just tape in there. I, I didn't have any screws to hold the base plate in, which uh, they don't show to have any anyway. They do. It does fit tight, you can press it in there and it stays, but I put a dab of super glue on those holes, uh, let it dry, and then I'll close it. I'm going to be ready to test. All right, it's lunchtime. We'll be testing this thing after lunch here. See what happens. Ah! I lost all the test footage. Uh, my computer filled up and quit recording. I was recording it through the live stream. So, I'm gonna be doing a total review of this thing once it's uh, functional, well, I should say once that uh, I do some more testing. I've already done some testing and it seems to work just fine. So I'm going to play around with it some more and create some more footage and I'll post a whole new video on just a review. And now I'm going to answer the phone. Peace. Thanks, Sean. See you.